and like magic, everybody's on the screen. So first off, I welcome everybody. Hope you're all ready and prepped for this week. And I'm going to fire off with the first question tonight. Obviously, we gave you stipulations on how to build your modern decks, as in once you've used a card, you cannot use it if you progress. But this is the first week where we're going to be sending two of you home. So how did you balance that up with, I, you know, I'm using my two golden bullets this week. I'm making sure I get through. Talk to me about that. Dingo, you're down the bottom left. So I know I had to register my two golden bullets of four okay. flage and four ring. Now, had this stipulation not be in place, I would have played the four one ring Boros energy list because I think it's sweet to go Amped Raptor into ring, especially on turn two when you don't have enough energy and you get really disappointed that you put Amped Raptor in B tier. But that's besides the point. I decided to register Boros Energy with no rings, and then I put the rings in Rumble Eldrazi because after Caleb absolutely destroyed me on the content creator showdown with this Rumble Eldrazi for Emrakul, the promised end list, I couldn't <laughs> get enough of it. I was like, this deck is definitely something, and I want to try it out today. So those are my two lists, and I'm excited to see what everybody else has brought, because I think there's eight different decks today. Spoiler. Yeah, yeah, there's a good variety, and that's good. That's what we wanted to see. So, Jim, talk to me about your decks this week and how the stipulations made you pick these two. This is a uh, win or go home week, so there was no consideration. Just Ooh. play two decks and go from there. You know, I'll figure it out next week. you got to take one step at a time and kind of go uh, as you're going. So, brought the Breach deck. I played at the Pro Tour. Uh, still love that deck, honestly. At the Pro Tour, I played it... Uh, Kind of le leveled myself a little bit where I think it was a really, really good anti anti Nadu deck. It was really good against all the decks that were good against Nadu and, and okay, you know, passable against Nadu itself. Uh, there is no Nadu here, so I think the deck is great. Uh, and then I brought a cool creativity deck that I saw that just looks sweet and I just want to kind of jam it and have a little fun, you know? So let's just do our thing. I'm looking forward to seeing it in action. Cancer, talk to me about your decks and the stipulation on how you chose them this week. Similarly. I left the problem of future decks to entirely to future Kanister to worry about. So I've chosen Amulet Titan, which is my beloved deck, which is not doing too well in current actual modern, in huge part because it does match up pretty poorly against Nadu itself. Mm. But this should be a pretty good uh, environment to pick it up again. And I'm excited to play a, a few new interesting pickups that I'm excited to see in actual games. And my other deck is Gorayos Vengeance, a very strong, very well-rounded deck that I'm also happy to play. So those are my choices. Yeah, I was surprised that you, you went in the Gorayos deck because it's like three colors. So it takes up a lot of different cards from a lot of decks if you were to make it in the future. But as you said, that's a future problem for future canister. Well, will Lily talk to me? These decks this week, this stipulation, why? I was completely thinking about uh, future Rebels problems, so I there thought, let's try to save as many good cards as possible, not really thinking that, oh, I kind of have to win this round <laughs> first before I get to use them. So I picked a mono-red uh, aggro deck with Breach, and then I saw a really cool like mono-green aggro deck uh, from Japan um, that looked kind of like a Pioneer deck, and I was like, that's kind of cool, and I get to save uh, to, you know, I only have like two model colored uh, decks. I love the confidence. You, like, I'm already making it to next week. So I'm just saving yeah. myself for them. I've got you. Okay, I'll next question is coming from Minu. Yeah. All right. So here's my quick question. So, without Nadu in the format, a lot of things change. For example, anybody who's playing, you know, three or four copies of Harsh Mentor, you get those sideboard slots back, which is great. The meta is definitely going to shift a bunch. And I want to know from, you know, all of you, what do you think is the best deck in the format post Nadu? In a war not a list world. And uh what do you think is the best tool to beat that best deck? What what what's what's it gonna look like? Uh Dingo, we'll keep continuing. We'll start with you. Uh post Nadu, well, I took out all my harsh mentors and I replaced some of my harsh mentors with a cursed totem today, expecting some number of Yogmoth to appear post Nadu. No Yogmoth, so I have a couple of dead sideboard cards myself, but I do expect Eldrazi to be a top tier deck moving forward post Nadu. I think the best way you fight Eldrazi is tears and hope that they don't have a bunch of soul lands because it's very, very difficult to beat that list when they just go turn one soul land talisman, turn two ring, or turn two Kozilek's command into a seven drop. So I don't think there's a great catch-all answer to Eldrazi because even Blood Mood is proving to be somewhat ineffective against them with all their permanent-based ramp. Like some of them are playing Utopia Sprawl, so they just put it on a forest. They don't care about Blood Moon that much. Um, I think that deck's going to be probably number one, and then number two is 
looking to be the energy decks because I think they're very powerful, linear. They go wide. They just kill you out of nowhere. And they have a bunch of upstairs reach. And some of them are even ad adapting the ring now. And you kind of can't go wrong playing the ring, right? Yeah, shout out, shout out to you, by the way, for having like five back to back to back top eights on modern challenges on, on uh, Magic Online. That's actually insane. Jim, we're going to pivot to you. What do you think is the best deck in the format without Nadu? And how do you beat it? Yeah, I think energy is like, you know, in various forms, Barboros, Mardu, Jeskai, whatever it might be. All the energy cards are just so good from MH3. I think that Eldrazi is kind of like a natural foil to it. You know, the reason why I, I played the deck that I played at the Pro Tour and I'm playing it today is that I think it's really good against these fair decks. Cards like All It's Dust, all the big mana stuff is great. And like Dingo said, like Blood Moon is just even that good against it. They're playing Talismans and like, you know, a soul land turning into a single land. Okay, well, you wasted your turn three anyway. So like we can kind of just even out that exchange regardless. So yeah, Eldrazi's great. Energy's great. Uh, Necro's pretty cool too. That deck was also pretty impressive at the Pro Tour. Hard deck to play though. Very, very challenging. So I don't know. It's going to be cool. Honestly, I think Nadu is definitely going to be gone. It's going to be a cool new world. All right. Love to hear it. Canister, you're up next. I'm a believer in energy. I think it's very strong. It's probably going to be the default best deck. Uh, it's just very, very well, well run that and flexible. And how you beat it? You just beat it with a pile of pyroclasms. So... That's my plan. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's three answers that say energy. Uh, Rebel, I have to ask you, do, do you share the same sentiment or do you think something else is going to rise to the top? Clearly, it's going to be Merc Tide, right? <laughs> uh, no, I was going to say energy as well. Um, when I was, like, playtesting the deck, it just, not only is it, like, very, like, strong, but, like, also a lot of the cards kind of end up being, like, not exactly A plus B combos, but if you have, like, a Guide of Souls and then, like, another thing... They just like, or, you know, you're able to play a Johnny and flip it. There's just so many different lines you can take that takes like a very strong board and just makes it very unfair quickly. Add like the one ring on top of it. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, I'll eat your power class. It's fine. I'll draw three. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that that is fascinating to hear for sure. We'll see if these predictions come true. Will, do you have any other questions for our players before we get in? No, I'm just, uh, it's just, I'm still getting over the rings now in Boros Energy. It's, it's, and you can play it turn two. I actually had to work out how to sequence it, but yeah, that, that's the actual thing, which is nice because I've got an RCQ coming up this weekend. I might actually try that out. But uh, on that one, we're going to let you all step away. We're going to get people into the feature match area. Me and Anu are going to uh, just go through some help that we need on the way. So we'll see you all shortly.